This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinylic Puma, and today we are back with another Borderlands the pre-sequel video for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at my Aurelia the Baroness uh, endgame build. Um, now, I did do a pre-release ultimate endgame skill tree, but I ultimately decided I wanted to come back and show you guys what I'm actually using in the pre-sequel for Aurelia, because I've finally gotten to play the game uh, and play with this particular character. So, as you can see here, it's pretty much similar to what I had before. A lot of the same skills are maxed out. Some of the skills in like the uh, cold money tree, um, like uh, whiteout, which reduces your damage, I ultimately opted out of that. And then, of course, one of the first skills in the huntress tree, um, I actually don't remember what that's called at this time, but I ultimately did away with that, and I mostly went into contractual aristocracy with those points, mainly so I could get that quality, not um, quantity skill. Um, and that improves your damage with uh, legendaries, purple grade weapons, and blue unique grade weapons. Now, what you're seeing here is a couple of weapons that I'm using on Aurelia. Of course, you saw the long nail, the Droog, the Diab right there, which all of three of those are excellent. And now you're going to see what's possibly my favorite weapon on this character, and that is the machine. Now, this is a gun that it, the story behind this one is complicated because it's not out yet, but it's in the game's files. There trying to do these community events with the Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and the hail is an example. Um, but all of these guns, they're in the game, but they don't drop yet. Now, the hail does drop, and that's been dropping from Iwo Jira last that I checked. And I got one here. I got an ice one, and this is really useful because there's this skill in Aurelia's Cold Money Tree that allows you to heal off cryo damage, and you can get that to stack with the Hale's innate healing abilities. Now, of course, I have my shields here. I just kind of use turtle shields. But the class mod here is really important, and this is the Chronicler of Elpis. I think this is the best class mod for all of the characters in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, but that's just my opinion. Now, of course, I have the Precision Strike Oz kit here, and this is a really nice Oz kit. It's pretty much the ultimate boss fight Oz kit, in my opinion, because it improves your critical hit damage while you're in the air. And if anybody's got a critical hit spot, I mean, you're going from like 200,000 damage per shot to like uh, maybe 350,000 critical hit damage per shot or more. Now, I wanted to go ahead and show uh, just a regular Droog with the build that you've just seen against Iwo Jira here. And you're going to see here that it actually does a lot of work on him. And, I mean, we pretty much took, like, half of his health out already. And we only have 29 stacks of I Never Miss. Um, in some cases, you can get this higher and kill him even faster. Um, this was actually a pretty sloppy run, and this is actually pretty easy to do. Um, but as you can see there, we kill him, and he's pretty much a pushover. But anyway, guys, that is going to pretty much wrap up this video. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I am using for Aurelia in the pre-sequel, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, um, I am sorry. I wanted to get this out sooner. I originally had planned this for Wednesday, but it took me fucking forever to get my Aurelia up to level 60. But I finally have, and this video's here now. But anyway, guys, take care, and I'll see you all in the future with more Borderlands 2 content and Borderlands the pre-sequel content. Bye.